Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer.com. Today we're taking a look at these eTrailer stabilizer jacks. You can get this just on its own or in a pair with the lever arm. These are going to basically set up on your camper or trailer to help level it out and stabilize it. They're going to do a really great job with these kind of more low clearance situations. For your campers, you can definitely get scissor jacks. Your camper probably already has them, but those tend to have a bit more reach. For applications like this trailer here, or for maybe a small pop-up camper or a teardrop camper, these are going to be great to get that smaller reach but still stabilize the whole setup. Let's check them out. So you can install these in a variety of ways. We've got two mounting holes up top that we can use to bolt it in or use self-tapping screws to secure it, but a lot of other people sometimes weld it on. So you can directly connect this to your trailer by welding it. It's really just up to you and your setup, how it's gonna fit the best and what tools you have at your disposal. Those mounting holes are three inches apart, center on center with each other, and they are gonna be 7 16 inch holes. Mounting hardware isn't included because you can mount it up however you want. So if you do choose to go that route by bolting it on, just know that that's what you're working with. We've got these ones already set up and making contact with the ground on our black enclosed trailer here, and they're gonna do a really good job. Now to break the tension, we've got this lever right here that I can step on and you'll see it loosen up right away. And then we can just press down on this lever to push it back up. And then to fully secure it, it does fold up just by pulling out, pushing up and in, and it'll lock up underneath the trailer there. Then to get it set up, it's just the same reverse process. Pulling it out, it'll lock in in that downward position drop it to the floor, and then you can use the lever arm stuck through the side to push down, and we'll hear a click eventually right there to let us know it's making full contact and it's giving just a little bit of lift. This isn't included with the single version, only with the pair, but you can pick it up separately if you're just doing a replacement or a single one. Now I did mention lifting, but I wanna point out what I mean by that. With that lever arm in there, we're giving it a little extra bit of lift to create a really solid contact from the trailer to the ground, but we're not lifting the whole trailer. Our tires are still on the ground. We're making contact in other places. This only has a lift capacity of 650 pounds, which if you're using it in the context that we showed, should be plenty. As far as your static weight capacity goes, it's gonna be a thousand pounds of support, which if you've got a pair of these, one on each side of the trailer, it's gonna be plenty. As far as your dimensions go, from the mounting point to the foot plate in its most retracted state is going to be 11 and a half inches tall. And then in the most extended position here, it's going to be 18 inches tall. So that's the kind of range that you're working with. Just make sure it's going to fit with your trailer or camper setup. As far as construction goes, it's going to be a black powder coated steel, which will help with rust and corrosion, but I will say it's not the most durable. You can see that the one that's been on the trailer for a while is already starting to rust a bit. And the one on the other side is definitely in worse shape. And even the one that we pulled today to kind of show you it off the trailer, the powder coat is already scratching off on that sliding portion. So as far as durability is concerned, that's maybe a point of concern for me, but just know that it might start to rust away the more it spends on your trailer or camper, especially if you're in some regions where road salt is heavily used, things like that. So if you already have a pair of these stabilizers on your camper or trailer, this is gonna be a direct replacement to that. If you're thinking about adding these as new, I'd go with the pair because you're gonna get two of these and that lever arm, and it's gonna really help stabilize out the camper or trailer. Otherwise, that'll do it for a look at these e-trailer stabilizer jacks. Thanks for watching.